Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of my Moto GP19 career mode here today and we are back. It's been a little while but we are finally back on it and we're going to try and see out the rest of the season as we kind of begin pretty much what will be the second half of the season. In the last episode we did a race at Assen. If you guys want to watch that then go click the card in the top right hand corner of your screen and today we're racing around the Saxon ring I believe for the German Grand Prix. So let's jump into things here as we're still getting used and acclimatized to the Patronus uh, Yamaha, the satellite Yamaha machine as we recently transferred to this team after the Catalan GP. Now, um, in terms of the championship, we were leading. We've had a couple of poor races on this Yamaha, so we've dropped down to P4, but still only nine points behind. It's very, very close. Lots of riders there. I think all the way down to Jack Miller in PA, anybody can win the championship at the minute, and anyone can you know, make that difference with one race win. So it's all very close at the moment, but uh, yeah, overall things looking pretty damn good. In terms of upgrades, we're going to put one on here today for this race, and it's going to be for the anti-wheelie for this bike, because it's something I've been struggling with quite badly. So we're going to get that on straight away. And hopefully that'll make an instant improvement for this race. As we rather Saxon Ring, one of my favorite tracks on the entire calendar. And one that I'm very much looking forward to. So we're going to jump into practice here as usual. And uh, take care of the practice programs. And then move into qualifying. And uh, fingers crossed we could try and jump straight into Q2. And then move on to the race. So let's jump into it. And let's get to work. It's time for the German Grand Prix. And uh, let's get this weekend underway. Okay, so track affinity test. Let's see how we get on here. At the final corner, Quattroro pits in. I'm really struggling with the wheelie at the final corner. My first run wasn't that great. We actually had to put on another set of medium tyres and try again. This is better so far. I think we're finally on target to hit this practice programme. I've struggled with it so far. Like I said, I've had to use another set of medium tyres to do it. But we're going to do it this time as we go up the hill, up to the line. And there we go. Maximum points. Finally starting to understand the bike a bit. Currently on the qualifying sim programme, we're going to have to make... A couple of overtakes maybe here, I think, because uh, we're trying to set a good lap to get into Q2 as we go down the waterfall. A bit wide, but we need to make these overtakes happen, so we're going to go for it. Nicely slow down on the brakes. There we go. Must be a grip on that soft tyre. Got to be a 20.2. It's going to be close. That's wide. That could prove to be costly. Onto the curb a little bit up to the line, and uh, we don't hit the threshold, unfortunately. We're going to have to try again. Final corner up to the line. We don't quite make it, we miss out. But you know what? I'm going to call it there. I can't really um, find much more time than that. That was a very good lap for me, so we might struggle here, it looks like. And so 20.2 is the best I can... Sorry, 20.3 is the best I can do. So, uh, yeah, could be a tricky one. Okay, so we're going to have to go through Q1 for the first time this season. Not what I expected, but we're going to try our best and give it a go. So let's jump into it and let's see if we can try and get ourselves into Q2. Really messed up that sector three. I was four tenths up. And this is where I struggle compared to the AI at this final sector. Trying to get the power down there onto that curb, not ideal. On a corner, a little bit wide, we're just going to get it underneath for the apex on the power. Let's try not to wheelie really too much across the line, 20.2. Second place behind Alicia Spargro, let's try again. Okay, yeah, that's, forget that. Oh man, what a frustrating weekend so far, I just can't find any pace in the bike. Zarko there just completely cutting across me and I had to take to the grass. Damn. Okay, this is better. Let's hold this together now. 
with a wire there, but we'll get away with that. Getting a good exit, getting the power down. This is the final corner, this is where I struggle. And I lose all my time, both on entry, mid corner, and especially the exit with the damn wheelie ink. Up to the line though, 19.8. That's more like it. Even with a big wheelie right at the end, that should do the trick. If I can just keep the front wheel down at the final corner, I'll find like two, three tens. I'm genuinely losing everything at right at the end of the lap. Well, that lap should be good enough for Q2. And I didn't have to use another set of tyres. I just had a cool off lap and went again. Right, so there we go. Then we get into Q2 along with Felicia Spargro and uh, Kotoraro just misses out and uh, John Mir as well on the Suzuki. But overall, a decent session. Finally into the 119s. Let's see if we can try and find a little bit more pace in Q2 and try and see how far up the grid we can try and qualify in the session. Very narrow line through that. It's a shame because it was a pretty good lap up until that point. I can just hold this together now for the final sector and the final few corners. It might still be okay. I'm not really sure the references. We haven't really got a benchmark to look at on the right hand side. That's wide. That's wide. That's going to ruin my lap. I can just set up the next one though. That's okay. Up to the line. 20.2. P8 for now. A very poor final sector. Oh, damn it. Big crash. Right, let's get some fresh rubber on. I could use those again, and I might do if I run out of tyres, but uh, we're going to use that last fresh set. A little bit wide there. This is when the lap always falls apart through here. For me, if I can just stay close to rings and try and use them as a reference. That might be a good line. Yes, it is. We are down on our personal best, though. Extend the lap strongly. Come on, let's follow Rins here. Yeah, better final corner, that's better. A bit tighter this time. Still a bit wide, but up to the line we go. 19.8. There we go, that's much better. A good final sector. Let's try another one. went down there again it's a fantastic first sec though but we get a validation damn it okay we're just gonna cool down we'll try again on these tires so we're just gonna have a little bit of a slow lap and uh, we'll go again okay, that's a good exit all or nothing this lap let's give it absolute everything and see where we go Vignalo's there it's gonna put me off a little bit Good move from Vinales there, as we get past. So far, so good. Much better through there. Oh, no! No! Oh, that was the one. Damn, I've run out of tyres. Do I use these again? Or do I use a previous... I'm going to try to use a previous set of tyres, see if I can get a lap out of those. Right then. I've got the previous set tires on around 90% wear. Let's see if we can still set a lap with these on. This is going to be interesting. Don't even tell the dog you straight away. We know the sector one's my strongest sector. Oh, a little bit wide there. Let's keep it together, come on. Wide again here. A bit scruffy. I've lost time. Keep it tight through here if we can. 
That's fine. On the power up to the line. Bring it over to the left. Okay, that's an improvement. I'll take that. 19.6. I'm really I'm not getting much more out of that. A clean lap. That was much better. And that's the best I can do. P5 for us. With a minute to go. So I accidentally skipped the uh, qualifying results. So you'll see them now on the full grid once we run you through it. So there is Valentino Rossi and there is Mark Marquez right behind him. We'll find out shortly where we are in the end and uh, that will confirm our starting position. But you'll get to see the full grid in a moment's time once we uh, get going after this initial sequence. But uh, for this race, tyres are going to be an interesting one. They're going to kind of make or break our race. I am tempted to try medium front and then medium rear just to try and be aggressive so we're going to fit those on and try something different there we are p5 so overall decent stuff we didn't lose any more places middle of the second row for us so yeah let's jump into it and let's see how we get on in this race and fingers crossed we could try and turn this around after a pretty miserable weekend so far and a uh, general struggle for some serious pace so let's jump into it it's time for the german grand prix Right, here we go. Five lights come on at the Saxon ring. Lights out and away we go. A little bit of uh, a screen freeze there. Overall, that's a pretty good start from us. Down the inside. Into P2 straight away off the bat. That's a good start, really good start after recovering from a relatively poor getaway. It wasn't, definitely wasn't my worst getaway though, one of my better ones actually, but we still lost places. The anti really upgrade, paying off slightly, but still P2, did not expect that straight off the bat in this race. Valentino Rossi still leads on the works Yamaha, Mark Marquez behind us on the Reptile Honda, of course. Just going to try and take it easy in this initial phase because I need to try and readapt to the medium tyre after running the soft tyres for a long period of time. Let's see if we have the pace to catch up to Valentino here or keep up with him as best as we can. It's 11 laps, it's a very long race. In terms of laps, the highest laps counter on the calendar because it's the shortest circuit. So let's just try and keep it clean, keep it tidy, and uh, we should benefit from that. So let's just try and do our thing and not make any mistakes if possible. AI's race pace already starting to show. Valentino is absolutely just walking away with this one already. Marquez is yet to challenge me. I was now crunched like actually, he was in P3. So I'm, I've yet to be uh, overtaken or challenged from behind, but I feel like. It's not very far away as we are struggling to uh, switch on the medium tyres at the minute. But like I said, if we, if we could just avoid making mistakes and uh, keep our nose clean, that's the best we can do at the minute. We're still P2, quite slow, dropped off a bit, so let's keep doing our thing, running at our own pace. That's a little bit wide there, but that's okay, we'll get a better exit as a consequence. A little bit wide there, that's going to allow Crutch to stick his nose in briefly. Luckily for us, we had a different line, I mean, the better line, far in the corner, quite slow down the inside again. This time they're using me as a break. Not the cleanest of moves, but we lose P2 to the car quite slow. Luckily enough, sector one is my strong point, so... On the brakes, a bit of contact there again as we get the elbows out. Do we get back in front? It's going to be close. Quite slow though, stays in front for now. Can we re-challenge here the Brit? Let's just stay close to him, try and follow his lines. Good pace from Crutchlow. He's uh, starting to put some distance between himself and myself. Marquez behind us. If I can just get a good exit here for once, that's not too bad. 20.6, Valentino though into the 119s already. I just need to try and stand top of my pace and do the best I can. Crutch though could fall off, you never know. That's a fantastic toe run from us though. We've really closed the gap down quite a lot. And now it's all about staying close for the rest of the lap pretty much. Decent lap from us, 20.4. Marquez though is starting to put the pressure on now, big time behind us. 
the pace is picking up from all the AI riders, so we've got to try and step up our own somehow, as we almost tucked the front there. That was very close. I tried to put a little more front brake on right at the end, and it almost cost me dearly. Just got to try and follow quite slow, keep him in our sights. Big wobble there. Got to be careful with those. That's actually a better lap for me. I actually pulled away from Marquez on that one. 20.7, not my quickest lap, but for some reason Marquez not being able to keep up with the pace. So far, if I could bring this home, I'd be absolutely ecstatic. We've not been nowhere near a podium on this bike. Our best result, I believe, is P6. If we somehow manage to get the, the result around the race where I struggle the most so far this weekend, I'll be shocked. But at the minute, we're hanging in there. Tires are hanging in there, which is good as well. And so we're now well above half race distance. Oh, that's a big wobble there. Trying to stay on top of the pace. I'm starting to struggle with this lap, but I can feel the tyres now. This lap, we're just starting to say enough's enough. A few more to go, though. We've got to try and hang in there. Oh, that's a big one again. Asking too much of the rear tyres at the minute. Didn't lose too much, though. Another 20.7. Had we got a good final, final corner, it would have actually been a pretty decent lap. Just got to be extra careful now with the rear braking. 20.3, that's a good lap. We're responding here somehow. We're finding pace. Three laps to go. I actually gained some ground on Crutcher that lap, which is good. I'm finally starting to get that corner wire every single lap now. And that's giving me a lot more lap time. We're looking good here. Bar an absolute shocker of final lap, I think we should be okay. A little bit wide there for the waterfall. Not the ideal line, we've got a nice little one second gap to Marquez that we've been keeping for the last few laps. A little bit wide there again at the bottom of the Saxe curve. Here we go then, on the power, we're going to start the last half of the race. Could we get our first ever podium? Number 20.7. Come on, we can do this. I can feel Marquez behind me, giving it one last try. I can hear him, he's louder, you can hear the engine. We've got to stay on top of things here. Again, get that nice low line, that's what I'm talking about right there. Come on, we can hold this. A few more corners to go. Get our first podium for the satellite Yamaha team. Nice and easy there. Over the waterfall, nice and smooth, let's not overdo it. Marquez closing in, four tenths now. Nice and smooth on the exit on the tax curve. That will do, one more corner to go, let's not ruin this. Valentino Rossi wins at the sack to ring. Cal Crotchlow P2, but we're going to come home P3. And somehow, our first podium for the Patronus Yamaha team. Wow. Finally. Man, that was such a struggle. We had to work so hard for that. But the race pace was good. We actually, for once, had decent race pace. And we were consistent as well, which was important. So overall, very happy with that one. And a very, very decent race. And our first podium for the satellite Yamaha team. Valentino Rossi picks up the 25 points and the race win. Cal Crotchlow P2. And we round off the podium. Mark Marquez P4. Daniel Petrucci P5. Alex Rins P6. With Adovicioso, Miller and Espargaro running out of the top nine. In terms of the championship though, we jump back up into third place. And uh, Rins drops down to P5. Valentino Rossi up to P4 as well. And again, the top eight still very close. The top six extra close. With Marquez still leading and Dovi still P2 after that one. In terms of the team championship though, you guys can see we are down in P7. Uh, around nine points. No, 11 points behind LCR Honda. So we've got some work to do there to try and catch those guys up. In terms of the constructors though, we overtake Suzuki thanks to mine and Rossi's results. And we're now the third best constructor. So good progress there from us and good improvements with the new upgrade here this weekend. And after a pretty poor practice and qualifying session, we turn it around on race day and bring home a massive result and a massive podium for us to really get our season back on track. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was a proper struggle and a real big slog. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like and also subscribe if you are new for daily MotoGP and also Formula 1 content and also turn notifications to not miss any videos from me. And finally, check out these two videos on your screen. And if you have missed them, guys, then go watch those. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you in my next one very soon. But until then, it's goodbye from me.